هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on his tip, necron thanatum, thanatum batisas, ketis and his nimas is oif tarisamenos. Well, hello everyone. Christos on his tip, Messiaham, and Christ is risen. Uh, it's uh, 22 hours and I think uh, 53 minutes into the minute day of uh, uh, Saturday. June 24th, 2016. And I'm planning to go to the front now and uh, see what's, what's happening with the mail. Let's see what happens now as we walk along. Half my face is going to get dark like this. There we go. That's better. That's a better view. Uh, Check the mail, and also what I, ch what I want to check here. We now we're in front of another security light. See, so we're in front of the security light, which are now LED. They're bright light. They're bright light. Uh, no, bright white uh, uh, LEDs. Um, it's much better to film by. Uh, there's not as much. Uh, well, there's no yellow tint to it anymore, uh, as the sodium vapor lamps were. The security lights used to be sodium vapor, and that produced the yellow, cut the yellow orangey color. Now I'm in a dark spot. So you can't see, really see me. Oh, it feels like it's gonna storm. So I'm gonna check and see what's going on with uh, also the uh, air conditioning duct. I think it's blocked up because uh, all I'm getting in that, from the air conditioning in the area of the air conditioning is hot air. I'm not getting anything that's cold. I don't know whether or not it's actually venting. Well, I can feel it. I can hear it. And I think that there's... Okay, yeah. It's kind of the sign is in the way here. Anyways, I've got some fixing up to do with uh, no mail. Um, I've got some fixing up to do with uh, the AC in the front room uh, before anything else goes on uh, because it's not cooling down the place properly. I mean, it's cool enough outside here now as I'm airing out, but uh, it should be cooling off like this in the front as well. But that's not the case. It's simply venting hot air. And they get it's hot, venting hot air for the day, so from the, from the entire day, so uh, that could be a reasonable excuse. Now I made a little bit of a mistake here. And I shouldn't have done this because there are raccoons around, and it's gone. So I left my door open, my back door open. But hopefully, no animals gone into the place. We will soon see, because we will be back at our destination. Our comfy little chair that we have out here. Uh, here we go. Here is the oh, you can't see the chair, it's too dark. But uh you can sort of see inside the place a little bit. It's darker in here. And it doesn't appear to be that there are any animals. So, yay for that. Oh. So, tonight I'm going to try to produce Tweetline Plus on the new system, on the new system in the front room. Well, the new system, but the expanded uh, editing desk. Let's see if I can get all the editing desks working together this week. Uh, that way, uh, I could start putting together a uh, some degree of a uh, uh, filming schedule that will actually work. So, uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave this here for now. Uh, so I'm up again, 
I, one, I was too hot to stay asleep, and then uh, I just didn't feel like staying asleep. Like, oh. <laughs> That's kind of how things go. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. It has to be a little quiet here because uh, we're in church and uh, there's no private room here. So, uh, it's uh, pretty slow and nasty and Christ is risen. It is uh, just about 11 hours and 5 minutes into the day of uh, Sunday, June 5th, 2016. I ended up getting the ride to church uh, with my friend Stephanie. So, so I'm here, uh, and this is the this is the this is the second church we have. It's a small church. Uh, it was originally Russian, uh, and it's got a really nice view of the altar. Here's the uh, scene of the altar. It's rather small. This is the original church that was made from the Russians of the Transfiguration. It's now not money. It used to be some new tariffs, but uh, that changed when we had the other church uh, that we were at in the last vlog. So. <laughs> so, I've got most of the work done on the uh, front room systems. And I should be getting down with editing and filming the first vlog uh, 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 that will come out of there. This will probably be the uh, uh, 29 plus. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And we'll go from there on out to see how I'm going to schedule all the other shows that uh, need to be filmed and put onto the uh, editing bay. So. I think that's about it for now. Uh, we'll see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theorem's uh, BTS vlog. All right, take it Well, hello everybody. Jesus and Nasty, Messiah Ham. Christ is risen. Welcome to the next segment of Big Bang Theorem's BTS vlog. It is 10 hours and 47 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, June 6, 2016. <coughs> Oh, yeah. Well, um... I'm sitting here watching IPTV, watching Bertelli. And figured, uh, doing some work here at the research desk, and figured this is as good a time as I need to, to uh, uh, vlog. I did not vlog when I got up. I did not vlog when the day started. Uh, this is after breakfast. So I got up about, uh, I think about, uh, about five, uh, but I didn't get out and start start doing things until about seven seven thirty. Had some breakfast, did some cleaning. Uh, I had some breakfast, did some cleaning, and then um, uh, came here and started doing sort of, sort of the overview of what I'm going to do for the week. Uh, planning the sort of planning the day out, planning the week out. Uh, see what tasks we need to get done. Uh, what I hope to get done today is I want to get um, the university's uh, t television and academia university TV. I want to get that connected into the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network. <clears throat> I want to do. I was supposed to do the t the the, the t Tweetline Plus yesterday, but I didn't end up getting around to it. Getting around to it, so uh, I'm gonna get that on the schedule for today and on a regular basis. This is the whole thing is to get this done on a regular basis to try out the new uh, editing desk and the procedures that will sort of be used to sort of to uh, get a better um, to a add more capacity to, to uh, our video editing so that the, the channel and the network has more capacity to do things so uh, that's what we're going to work on today uh, hopefully get it done by this evening and uh, uh, we'll take that as a starting point for the rest of the week other than that, uh, uh, next week when we 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 will we will be going back to a regular opening theme, uh, because the Christos Anesti will end uh, midweek, uh, just about officially. So, but I'm gonna leave it till the basically the weekend. 
uh, in the in terms of our our, our our song our opening theme, and then uh, at the end of our opening theme we will uh, well the next week uh, Monday will begin the uh, um, the new well not the new one but we're going back to our regular uh, opening theme so I don't know why I was saying new opening theme it's the same one <laughs> prior to uh, uh, the Pascha theme so. Anyways, uh, I will uh, uh, talk to you uh, probably in the next segment. So I'll leave this here for now. Uh, a little bit short. Uh, there's nothing else really more to say right now. There's not always a deep discussion, uh, but otherwise, uh, so that way I'll leave it, I'll leave it for now. All right, uh, take it easy. I'll see you in the next segment. <clears throat> Welcome back to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Heroes BTS vlog. Yeah, uh, we give it time and date stamp. Well, Messiah Khan, he's so nasty, and uh, Christ is risen. It is 16 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Monday, June 6, 2016. Yeah, it's, uh, we're past lunch uh, and into the day, uh, working on the graphics for uh, Academia University, AKU. Oh, oh, sorry. Academia University TV or AKU TV. Uh, I'm working on the graphics for that right now um, and going over some physics. So uh, I should have the university channel all hooked up to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network uh, by the end of the day. So that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be good for that. Uh, I should be able to get some stuff out on that. Uh, some videos out for that channel. And uh, I should have uh, have things lined up now to go out for Tweetline Plus. <laughs> so, yay for that as well. So, we'll see how things go. And uh, I'll let you know how things go as they, as they progress along. All right. Take it easy. Well, hello, everybody. Messiah Khan, Kisos Anesti, and uh, Crisis Risen. Um... Welcome back to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theorel's BTS vlog. It is <laughs> to the nine hours and thirty-one minutes into the day of Tuesday, June seventh, uh, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, it's been um, the last few days. Has been uh, the last vlog that went up was uh, the third to the fourth. It's now been five, six, and seven. It's been three days. Uh, I'm still on the same vlog. I haven't finished the vlog yet. <coughs> and this indicates that there are... This is my rough period. This is where, where uh, I, I'm not getting the work done I need to get done. I'm too tired. I am sort of just dragging myself through everything. And uh, the work not coming out the way... You know, in terms of getting done the way I expect to get done. It's not that that progress is not... <coughs> it's not that prog... <coughs> it's not that progress isn't being made, it's just... It's... It, it takes more effort to get the work done uh, over these last few days than it, than it usually does. Uh, I just upgraded one, one, one of my tablets because I've got... Uh, well, including my phone, I've got three tablets three laptops and then of course the IPTV is there uh, I've got I did the for the test enough enough of the tests done f so I can do the Tweetline Plus I have a Tweetline Plus more or less lined up but uh, it's still slow going it's you know it, 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 it takes a while to work these things into the schedule it takes a while to sort of get them onto the schedule to begin with and then uh, getting things organized so that they're on an irregular basis, uh, that's another task in its in a, in in of its own. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, cough is back again, just a little bit. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't last all day long. It lasts maybe for half hour, 45 minutes. I mean... Uh, I really just started coughing since I turned the camera on, but then again, I wasn't really talking. Talking uses actually a fair amount of energy. It uses a lot of lung power. <coughs> it 
and this is where it's, the issue seems to be. So it's not uh, something that's continuous throughout the day. It's uh, it's periodic. So and it doesn't it last me. It lasts maybe half hour, forty five minutes, and then it, it's gone. Uh, why it pops up when it pops up, I don't know. Uh, it's just. Uh, The same thing. Same thing with uh, the yawning. I wasn't really yawning before I, I I started talking. I'm now talking and now I'm starting to yawn. Uh, I still feel a little bit fatigued, but uh, I've got the university. Uh, I did what it said. I got the university AKU AKU TV, the Academia University TV. That channel is now hooked up to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network. I'm working on two more projects now here that should be done by the end of the day. Uh, that's on schedule. Uh, so is it? Is it's not that things aren't getting done. It just um, the perception of getting them done is is a lot more taxing, a lot more uh, I would say problematic for myself from my from my perspective uh, than than normal. So uh, it's like trying to drag a so. It's like trying to drag a stone around, and when your body's already tired, any work that you uh, normally would do do normally, you say, okay, yeah, that's all right. You sort of regret doing because you regret the anticipation. You have an anticipation of the fatigue that's going to cause by getting that work done, and it forces you to put everything off. So. I guess it may, it may, it's, I'm, I'm battling a bit of uh, procrastination as well. <laughs> I mean, that happens. You always have your goof-off periods. You always have your time to goof off. I mean, the, the thing, right now I'm in the mood where the thing I'd love to be doing now more than anything else is sitting around watching cartoons all day long and doing nothing else. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of the mood that I'm in. Now, maybe it's summer. I don't know what it is. Uh, the, the, you know, the summer has now started to get to me. Uh, I've been working all year, so without a, without much of a break, and so maybe that's sort of what's getting to me that I need to start uh, taking more downtime. So uh, we'll see what happens. I said I've got a schedule of work to keep up, anyways. I'm gonna try to get that done. Uh, we'll see where we are uh, more by the evening. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, I don't know where my days are in terms of sleeping and going to bed and, and going to, you know going to bed and getting up. I don't know where that is exactly yet. Uh, it's now I know it's shifting uh, once again, but uh, exactly where it's going to be and how it's going to affect the vlogs. I mean, maybe this is this is this is a situation I might be in now. That I know that, that, that things are shifting. The time when I'm awake and when I'm asleep is shifting. Maybe that's the issue is that uh, uh, my body has hasn't settled on a time yet of awake and asleep, and until that time happens. Uh, my body's going to be in an inter in, in between zone where I'm awake and asleep at the exact same time. You know that's kind of the condition I possibly could be in at this at, at, you know right now. So, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens throughout the week and uh, <clears throat> where things go. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you uh, in a let me a little bit. We'll see what happens. I got some cleaning to do. Maybe I'll have you. I'll, I'll film some of the cleaning. Some of the cleaning uh, that has to be done and um, go from there. Anyways, I'll see you in a couple hours. Well, hello everybody. Monsieur Kam. Jesus Nesty, Christ is Risen. Welcome to another segment of uh, Big Bang Theory House BTS vlog. It is 18 hours and 2 minutes into the day of Tuesday, June 7th, 2016. Yeah, it's been a pretty productive day. The day is still going on. It's not uh, over yet. Uh, I've made some adjustments to uh, my diet uh, once again. I mean, this is the thing. When, you, when you're working on your physiology, we are working on the organic chemistry within the physiology. Uh, there are always constant adjustments that have to be made depending on how your body actually react to various different foods that you, in terms of its, its uh, ability to digest. Which, but what you're looking for, and this is what I've talked about before, is you're looking for uh, the absorption rate. How much of, of the nutrients that you put into your body that does your body take up? I mean, this is, ba and this is, ba it's a basic chemical equation. It's, it, it is organic chemistry within the human, within the body. That's with, or, or, or in the place that it's found. That's called uh, organic chemistry in situ. And situ means in the place that it's found. It's not in the laboratory. This is not laboratory 
organic chemistry. This is laboratory. This is chemistry, or in this case, organic chemistry within the human within the human body. Uh, organic chemistry is the base of organic chemistry, actually, in, in terms of understanding the uh, mechanisms of the uh, reactions. Is basically uh, it's an aqueous based uh, situation. In other words, aqueous is your water. In other words, most of your most of your uh, well, I would say I would say all. I, I'm, I'm going to say most, but I'm I'm, uh, I'm going to say but for the sake of uh, of the sort of absolute argument, you can't see all. I'm going to say most of your uh, uh, <coughs> reactions occur within an aqueous environment. That doesn't mean that is that everything that is produced is aqueous. In other words, in the liquid form, we do we do produce solids, uh, we do produce salts, um, and other various salts as such. We even produce gases. So this is what I was saying: is the, it's not it, it it is the reactions themselves occur within the aqueous environment, but the end result, the products. Uh, that uh, sort of come out, and even some of the products that go in, because don't forget we breathe in air, uh, aren't exactly aqueous. So they're primarily aqueous. We do have to have a, a significant amount of even meat. Let's take the solid meat, right? The meat is a solid. Well, yes, but it's also a large chunk of it is actually water. So we need to consider that aspect as well. So with all the solid food we put in. Uh, has a large chunk. A large chunk of it is actually water. Another is water based. So uh, these are the the uh, understandings that we have when we're putting, looking at sort of the chemical equations of what goes in and the chemical equations of what comes out. Uh, we just now have sort of look, okay. Uh, you can know without actually having to do the measurements. Uh, and this is the discussion here when you when you're looking at different things. Uh, you're looking at you can look at the color of your of of the uh, solid waste, and you can also look at the color of uh, of the liquid waste that comes out. The more concentrated the color, particularly you know for, particularly for the list that talk about the liquid waste, the more concentrated the color is, the more uh, product your body is putting out. In other words, it there's a concentrated amount of uh, material coming out, and that would give you a suggestion that your body is dehydrated, that you need to have more liquids in your body. Uh, and in some cases, even if you're having enough liquids, may maybe you're not having enough water, because water itself is important. Uh, and I also tell people not to drink, although uh, some doctors are recommending this, and these are more of the uh, natural path pathic diet, not to drink distilled water. Distilled water is extremely dangerous. It is used to dilute uh, uh, chemicals and medicines medicines in, in, in a very measured and exacting way. You do not want to be dumping this into your body uh, because you'll end up doing a, a significant amount of damage. Uh, I'm just going to sort of take down uh, my IPTV, which is watching Shade Tart, so I'm just going to finish that up to now. And uh, so I'm getting ready to go out to, uh, to eat with my parents, so... I should go to my parents. We don't go out to eat. We, uh, we, my dad, and I, my dad, and my mom, and I we all cook a lot, uh, so we take turns uh, uh, cooking. <laughs> and so we go out in our own homes, if you will. Uh, but the thing is, uh, looking at uh, at the different uh, concentrations uh, within both the solid and liquid waste, the first determination is you want to make is you want to make is, is your body too dry. In other words, do you, does your body have enough liquid going in? Then, if you have an issue, of the, look at the liquid issue, you want to ask yourself, is there enough water? And this is regular tap water. You don't have to, have to do anything fancy with it. It's just regular tap water. So, these are the things you want to consider. And this is sort of the balances that I'm working on. Is Right now, I'm working on some of my liquids and giving myself some more options. And uh, maybe uh, when I come back tonight, I'll give you uh, a, a little bit more of a description of... Uh, how I adjust uh, my liquids uh, in terms of the balance, what type of liquids go into my body, and the amounts that go in, and what I expect uh, will actually come out. So uh, when I come back tonight, we'll have more discussion on uh, the organic chemistry of physiology, and in particular, we'll be looking at liquids.
Welcome. Welcome to the library. I am the library. I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.